you're conscious of Allah, Allah will make a way out for you. But the thing is that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to delay that way out so that He can give you some perspective. Because you see, if, if Ziyara would have went on that trip, he would have had a weekend of fun. But now he has a lifetime of perspective. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ, he said that when Allah sends these tests to us, he called them a'rad, which are hindrances. So Allah will take a little bit of your, your health so that you can recognize the blessing of your health. He'll take a little bit of your wealth so that you can recognize the blessing of your wealth. He'll take a little bit of your, your, your time so that you can recognize the blessing of your time. So all of these things are to put things back in perspective so that we don't become ungrateful, so that we don't lose you know, sight of the purpose in life, so that we keep our focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what the Prophet sallallahu said. He said that, Ala kullu shay'in khala Allah That the most truthful line of poetry ever spoken was that everything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is disposable. Because if you lose anything else in life, then you can replenish it with something, you can replace it with something. But if you lose Allah, you lose everything, including yourself.